So this is a first on the channel. I'm getting threatened uh, legally by the promoter of the Port St. Lucie card show. And I needed to put this out here just to show you guys, at least on my side of things, what happened with this card show. Now, I went to this show about two or three months ago. Port St. Lucie is about two and a half or three hours away from me. So travel time to get to the show and back is six hours plus any rest breaks. So I needed to get food on the way back. So I put a lot of time going into this show uh, for a smaller show. I think there was like maybe 50 or 60 tables, if that, at the show. So a lot of effort was put into there. Now, beginning of the show, I went around and I bought a lot of cards from different dealers. You guys can see an Aaron Judge collection I purchased as well as some Juan Soto autographs. And I think I picked up like a Manny Machado rookie auto. There's a few other purchases as well. Uh, but after I ended up going through the main floor, someone approached me and said they had vintage cards and they got referred to me since I make a lot of vintage purchases and vintage videos on the YouTube channel. So I walked out to the lobby to look at the collection. Now, it was a bunch of hockey cards from the 60s through 80s. I ended up passing on the collection, did not purchase it, and nothing was of this. Now, two or three months later, the card show promoter messaged me on Facebook and here are those messages as well as the card show vlog to back it up. Okay, guys, so here's the messages right here. So just a heads up, card show event promoters do not appreciate that you promote on YouTube how to set up your own free vendor space in the lobby of a card show venue. Never once did I do this, right? The video title is, I bought an Aaron Judge collection at the Port St. Lucie card show. I'll show you guys that in a second, right? You are extremely blatant and doing this in your video at our Port St. Lucie card show. We hope you consider this as a situation a professional manner and make right to what needs to be made. Thank you, Port St. Lucie card shows and collectibles, right? So let's see. So I'm still at the show right here, right? This is the collection that I bought originally. And this is at the show, a dealer that I'm buying all these cards from, right? All the Aaron judges and everything like that. You guys can watch the whole negotiation go down in some vintage cards. Okay. So after I show this Hank Aaron, I believe we go into the next message. All right, so we just got approached to take a look at a vintage hockey collection, 1960 through 80s. Stevens is going through the first binder over here, but I'll show you guys what we see. So you guys can see, right? This is the lobby over here. We have Steven that's looking through some of the cards. This is way outside the venue itself for the card show. So what happened with this place at the layout? You walk inside, right? They have a lobby, then there's a hallway, and then there's a individual event space for the card show. So there's two rooms of separation between where this is going on and also the card show itself, right? There's no table that I set up. I got approached with the hockey cards and we're taking a look through it, right? So you can see they were in those bags, right? And here are the cards themselves, right? And I'm documenting this for YouTube because I wanted to show you guys what I got approached with and if I ended up making a deal or not. I didn't know at this specific time. You can see that, right? Just keep fast forwarding. Right, fast forwarding through this album over here. It's a baseball cards, junk wax era. Not that I was interested in, right? Some older hockey cards and even more older hockey cards. There's some posters over here. This would be the rival right. to Calgary, Alberta, is the Edmonton people. So you can hear, I'm talking about the collection. The Yankees Red Sox. It's right. I feel like Yankees Red Sox were based oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Right, talk about a rivalry in sports. Deal, but still is a super. All right, here we go. Look, so now we talk about this deal. So no live stream today, went through the collection instead, didn't end up making a deal, but still is a super successful day at the Port St. Lucie show. Definitely a smaller card show, but there's a few different dealers here that I hadn't seen set up at any of the other Florida shows, especially like Orlando, Tampa, or Jacksonville. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. So look, I didn't purchase the collection. I bought a few deals earlier on, and then I talked about the show. And that was the end of that video. I would show you guys what I pick up. That's why I make pickup videos, and I try to record everything as much as possible. So now let's go back to the message, right? And I was pretty stern here. I said, sorry for giving your show free publicity, right? Again, I spent seven hours, let's say, traveling to the show, not including time on the floor and everything like that. I was approached to look at a collection, will not be back at your show, I've drove multiple hours to be there and help the Florida card show scene. I love promoting local shows. I try to help out as many Florida card shows as possible because the Florida card show market needs to thrive for the hobby to continue in the future, right? And then he responds back. So I understand that your approach to look at cards, that is not the problem, okay? So I'm trying to see. That problem is you are now unprofessionally promoting it on YouTube, okay? I will now 
have to consider that if your free publicity video is available on YouTube promoting this illegal act on private property, we will now have to confront others who are going to be inspired to do the same thing because it has been established, documented, and being promoted on YouTube every day by Ryan Nolan. I am hoping that we could both be a little more considerate and professional in resolving this matter. We would be more than happy to work with you on this. Please consider what could be done in a professional matter that could correct the situation and probably benefit both of us. Now, okay, did nothing wrong. I've talked to other card show promoters, and if you have a deal that someone wants to make, either A, if you're at a dealer table and you're cool with the dealer and you know with them, and the dealer is like, hey, I don't care if you make this deal here, you can make that happen. Or situation B, you can go outside and make the deal happen like what I did right over here. There was no deal that made, but that is what you need to do. One of those two spots. Now, promote it every day. Let's take a look at the analytics of this video. A little behind the scenes, right? So we're going to go over the last 48 hours. This video has gotten 39 views, and that's because I tweeted it out, right? So you can see it has 2.5 views or 2.2K views, right? And if we go to the views over here, reach views last seven days, right? It's had eight views before I posted this video. No one is watching old card show vlogs. They're very time sensitive videos and people just don't go back. If we do the last 30 days, there's 41 views. So this card show promoter, I don't know guys, is trying to threaten me over a vlog that I made a few months ago, which you guys can see when this was published. Let's see if there's a date that was published exactly on. Is it Sunday? Sunday? We are now, yeah, now. two months ago, right? August 16th. We'll see what ends up happening.